Hi all! Uh, today I will try to make something similar to real-time coding and I will try to improve my parser. Uh, in particular I want to add a better handle for adding, removing and saving attributes in my level manager system. And yes, yeah, so I will basically create something as a parser class and uh, methods to them. I like to make it beautiful because now it looks pretty ugly. You can see on the background something uh, like some parts of it and now it isn't good. It isn't good at all. Uh, so yeah, I think that I won't be able to write it uh, directly with one uh, session because I am working class and uh, I need to rest sometimes. Uh, now I'm recording it after eight hours uh, of working. So we will see um, how it goes. Probably it will be cut for several sessions. But okay, I will start with the to do. Okay. So. Parser, really ugly, and I have here the my header file with a separate definition for each uh, attribute that I have right now. Uh, okay, so I guess I would see it like this. So the idea is uh, pretty easy for load the level. I want to create a parser class that I'm going to handle a reading stream and also uh, functions like uh, getting attribute element or whatever. Uh, in my idea, it's going to be an easy template that will take the attribute name and uh, return you the desired type that you uh, passed um, and you will be able to fill your resource classes uh, in this way um, so yeah and now I'm going to do it and also going to struggle a few hours with the uh, templates because I got a bit overwhelmed also I am ignoring um, commenting uh, several parts because at the end I actually uh, decided not to touch it at all because it's a waste of my time and it's not needed now. Um, right, um, I'm continuing creating parser class, I created header file and I created plus file so and I'm going to feel it in a while. Of course, it's going to need uh, something as a constructor that will take a file name and will start a stream. 
uh, and also I already create uh, some uh, placeholders for the template that I'm going to spend the most part, uh, part of my time implementing. So after the long struggling, the answer was pretty easy and it was found in uh, this Stack Overflow answer and as you see the super easy way to get uh, type defined parameter when you pass a string argument is using string stream. I didn't know that. Now I know that. So, uh, you see that I rewrite at the end the function like this, and yep, so I basically call this get element predefined by type, and I also have enumeration. Uh, that uh, is related to my level arguments list. Yep, and we have here ID, path, follow, collision, x, y. Uh, now I'm using just this once. So, and in the template function get element, I I'm passing this elements in, 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 in um, then I have a current element is now iterator to the vector of strings I save it when I get my main like node I know that it's not a good thing to do right now but I don't want to create a, a linked list or something like that yet mm because I am pretty tired of writing this part of my engine, but I think I will go back to it in the maybe not that far future. But uh, what what else? Yes, here if I found an element, I will uh, move my current element to be easily uh, used inside some particular uh, node system, uh, element system. Anyway, 
uh, I here do this my old uh, string modification when I just find first uh, entry of this symbol, I don't know how it's called in English and then I erase everything that is at the beginning and uh, it is this part and I just take the uh, parameter that was set uh, right and then string stream is called which writes uh, inside the template type particular type and I really like how it looks it, the code is much cleaner and much more understandable I think that uh, now I'm going to rewrite this uh, as I did here like and uh, actually set the data to my classes uh, of resources that are used in the game uh, in engine and after that I will really quick um, redo save level function maybe to also be able to write it somehow to the file beautifully I'm not sure not sure I had it in my to-do, I know that, but like this save game save level part isn't that terrible I will think about it. Okay, then I'm going to start. Okay, so now you see that everything works. I was able to load all the elements of the level. I can try also to reload them, but I think that everything should work fine. Yeah, they are changing the positions. I still can like, move around. Yeah, that's things that works. I am glad about that. So. Now I'm going to rewrite save element function, clean code a bit, and then we can move, I guess, further on my list of thoughts. I guess that's it for my parts rewriting and after that I will probably work a bit on uh, text outputs uh, and trigger, trigger actions and after that, not yet, I don't know yet, but yeah, for this probably long video but I will try to cut it as much as I could uh, yeah maybe it will be better but hope you enjoyed and see you later <laughs>